Are you starting at zero or not where you want to be in your 30s? If you are, don't feel defeated. Instead, do these three actions and start making instant progress. I want to make sure that by the end of this video, you have a lot more mental clarity, you know exactly what your next three moves are going to be, and you're ready to take immediate action. The first action we have to take before we do anything else is we have to accept responsibility. We all have reasons for why our lives are the way that they are, and many of them are even valid. Recessions, pandemic, inflation, personal disasters. There's plenty of excuses for us to explain away how we got to where we are, but the reality is kind of cold. No one cares. This is such an important point that we have to really drill into our heads, and I'm going to say it again. No one cares. Not at this stage of life. It's all on you. And guess what? That's okay because you are capable probably more than what you even know of. I know that because you've made it this far. But one of the biggest things that we have to do in order to turn the momentum in our favor is to stop giving power to things that are beyond our control. This might sound cheesy, but I want you to say this out loud. You need to hear yourself say this. I want you to go, I am the hero of my story and I'm going to make it a story worth telling. Seriously, say it out loud, and say it out loud a lot. You are the hero of your story. Nobody's coming to save you. And when we truly accept that fact, we empower ourselves to be able to make the changes that we need to do. It can be difficult in life to accept that no one is coming to save you. The government, your parents, your significant other. At the end of the day, it's all on you. There's a small part of us that may understand that, yeah, we know that no one is coming to save us. Superman's not coming out of the sky, right? But at the same time, we don't always live our lives like that. Sometimes we are waiting for the government or our parents or our significant other to come alongside and kind of save us. But at the end of the day, that's the thing that's crippling our progress. We have to accept that it's 100% on us. Once you truly realize that, it's a revelation that will change your life. The second action is I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen. Not on your phone. Don't do this on the computer. Use actual paper and a pen. And I want you to write down three goals that you have for yourself in the next 90 days. Don't do four or six or try to be an overachiever. We only want to do three because we're going to invest our time, energy, and money in making sure these things happen. We need to stack wins. Many times the resistance of life can feel overwhelming, but you don't turn a ship around by making a hard U-turn. You have to make a slow, wide berth in order to get the momentum on your side again. Now, there's five rules that you have to follow for these three goals. The first one is they have to be realistic. We're not trying to go from zero to 60. We're trying to go from zero to 10. Number two, they have to be simple. Complicated is the enemy of change. The third thing is that it has to be quantitative. There needs to be some type of number associated with these goals. That way we can measure our progress. Number four is that it needs to be 100% within your control. We don't want outside factors impacting whether or not we hit these goals. So an example would be something like if I wanted to lose 20 pounds over the next 90 days. Maybe that's not the goal that I said. Maybe instead what I say is I want to make sure that I run one mile five days a week and I want to make sure that I'm doing 30 sit-ups every day. And the last thing is that it needs to be public. And by that, what I mean is you need to find one or two people that are going to hold you accountable to this. So what I want you to do is whenever you have these things written down, you're going to contact one of your closest friends, a family member, and you're going to say, these are the three things that I'm going to accomplish in the next 90 days. Can we put time on the calendar to meet once a month and just have you ask me how I'm doing? Now that we've got those things done, we are going to start stacking our wins. If your goal is to stop drinking soda, well, if you're drinking two a day, we're not going to go from drinking two a day and your body's all adjusted to the sugar straight into I'm doing none of it. You're going to go through sugar withdrawals. It's going to be really tough. I would know. That's kind of my weakness. But what we're going to do instead is say, instead of two sodas a day, I'm just going to start with only having one soda a day. We're going to make tiny manageable steps that we know that we can conquer. Maybe you hate your job and you want to get a new one. Well, you're not going to make your first step. I'm just going to apply to 100 places tomorrow. That's just too big of a first step. Again, we want to stack small wins. So instead, be like, tomorrow, I'm going to update my resume and I'm going to optimize my LinkedIn profile. Okay, the next day, 
I'm going to reach out to five different people I know that work at companies I like, and I'm gonna ask them if they know of any positions available there or anywhere else. Tiny wins that are totally within our control that we can do. When you start doing these things, you're gonna notice very quickly that momentum is a powerful thing, especially when you get it on your side. The third is one of the most important. Do not skip this step. And that is for either one or all three of your goals for the next 90 days, you need to get a coach or a mentor. Suck with money? Go meet with an advisor. Wanna lose some weight? Go find a personal fitness trainer. Maybe your marriage is on the rocks, okay? Go to therapy and invest in the love of your life and making things better. If you're sitting there and you're going, mm, I just don't know if I have the money for this right now, I'm telling you right now, eliminate things and make sure that you make this happen, okay? Don't eat out as much, eat at home. If you need to, cut back on some subscriptions for the next 90 days. Whatever you have to do, you can free up a couple hundred dollars and find coaching in these areas. The reason this is so crucial is because we are fighting ourselves. We are fighting our behaviors and coaches are going to give us systems and rules and accountability that we need to make sure that we are progressing at one of these things. And even if it's just one of them, what you will find is psychologically, as you stack these wins, it's not just going to improve that one thing that you are working on, it's going to improve all the others too. So the three actions that you should have taken by now is number one, acceptance that you are the hero to your story. Number two, you should have written down your three goals that you have for the next 90 days. And now that this video is done, before you go and watch the next thing or get distracted by some other shiny object, what I want you to do is go and start looking for a coach in at least one of those areas and lock them down. And if you're looking for resources or coaching on lifestyle design or something with personal finances, then make sure that you go to my website and see if it's a good fit for us to help you. Remember, you're the damn hero. You can do this. Get out there, go kick some ass, and stack some wins.